It's time for Sports Desk with Alan Partridge, and it's a special Sports Desk this week. As I gather, Alan, you're going to be looking ahead to the summer's sporting prospects. So what have you actually got to look forward to? Is it going to be a good summer for sport? This is Sports Desk. I'm Alan Partridge, and it's a very special desk of sport this week as we look forward to an exciting summer of action. If last year's summer was anything to go by, then look out for some hot action in the tennis field. Lendl about to serve, Cash in his march. It's a good serve, Cash go back, there's Lendl, over his volley, down, he's got that back, there again, the corner, he's not going to up in the air, he's not going to get it, smash, yeah, yeah! Well, if you think the temperature was a bit hot there, things got even more frosty when it all hotted up for the boat race. Once again, Oxford and Cambridge, the undisputed grandmasters of racing boats on the Thames, are in the lead as they come under the bridge there, the famed bridge that uh, has cars on it. But where are the others? Where are the others? The other universities, they're nowhere to be seen, and I'm worried for one. I wonder if Norwich are in the race, who knows? Let's keep our fingers crossed that they're not too far behind, and let's hope that they've not been sunk in some horrible boating disaster. That really would be a sad day for the days of racing boats along the Thames. And I think it's Oxford who are in the lead. I can't be sure. It could be Cambridge, but they're certainly in the lead. Of that, there's no doubt, as they round another bend to go under another bridge. This one that appears to take trains on it. Um, and they are more... And there'll certainly be a considerable amount of temperature for Nick Faldo at this year's Open Golf Tournament. Faldo there, placing the golf ball precariously on the tee. Heaven knows. Hope it doesn't fall off. Have to put it back on again. People staring attentively. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric. And he takes position, holds the long bat thing in his hand, he's in both his hands there and he swings it up in the air, way way up and it's a fast stop, he's hit it! And finally, who can forget the sizzling finish to last year's horse meeting at Royal Ascot and they're off, yes they're off they're off, the horses are off and it's Keith in the lead, Keith in the lead followed by Thop Daverty, the pardon me event close up the rear, on the inside is Henry Cooper, closely followed by Placenta Girl, and Bishop Thumpity Thump has lost his rider, and coming from nowhere, I am a horse, I am a horse coming straight up the inside I am a horse I am a horse in the lead with Auntie's pension coming at the inside, Bishop Thumpity Thump, as I said, is completely out, still out. Thop Daverty on the inside, closely followed by Keith, the Bobby Davro snooker experience. Lord Follicles, whomsoever machine from nowhere, and it's between Thop Daverty and Placenta Girl. Yeah! Thop Daverty and Placenta Girl. Who's going to win? Is it Thop Daverty, Placenta Girl? Thop Daverty, Placenta Girl, coming right up from nowhere, and it's Thop Daverty, followed by Coventry Child Abuse, Placenta Girl. And there, following up the rear, is Barcelona, Drugs Baron. At, no, I've just been told Keith's won. Keith won. Great. I am Alan Partridge, and this will be my summer of sport, as well as the Olympics. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs>